let's uh let's jump into it. Um Bobby Eaton is gonna pin Tom Zink with an inside cradle, eight minutes and forty five seconds. Meltzer would say they started slow and actually had problems early, but once they got into the rhythm, it turned into a very good opening match. The highlight was Zink superplexing or suplexing rather, Eaton onto the ramp and then diving over the top rope with a cross body block as Eaton was on the outside on the ramp. Uh, Eaton came off the top rope, but Zink caught him with a super kick. Then Zink missed a drop kick off the top rope and Eaton pinned him. Zink wasn't acknowledged as TV champion. I believe this match will air this coming weekend. Uh, and this win sets Eaton up for TV title matches with Zink in the future. Three stars. I, I think uh, Tom Zink is one of uh, Tony Schiavone's favorite wrestlers. Of course, you and I will always have a soft spot for Bobby Eaton. This was a hell of an opener. I dug it. What'd you think? Oh, uh, I'm a big Bobby Eaton fan. You know, uh, I told a kid the other day in AEW, he's, I, I, I said, you need to work on your punches. This is him. He and I talked. It wasn't in a group. It wasn't where I could bloodlet his ass in front of a bunch of people. Cause I can, I'm not that much of a dick. I'm not that much of a Richard. So I said, uh, privately, you know, you had some spots where you probably didn't focus on your punches. you they became automatic. They became just the normal course of business and therefore the execution suffered. I E it looked like you couldn't break an egg. Mm. You don't want to do that. Throw less concentrate. And so I said, look, go back. There's a ton of it. Go back and find Bobby Eaton matches. Bobby Eaton threw the most, one of the most consistent, accurate, believable punches of anybody in wrestling. He wasn't the only guy I'm not saying it was the very best, but if you're going to learn from somebody, you can start there. So Bobby is always a pleasure to watch. So I was a big, a lot bigger fan of Bobby Eaton and Tom Zink. You know, Zink tried to get by on his looks, and he had, he was a handsome son of a gun, great body, all that stuff. Oh my god! Uh, so, but I thought it was a good opener. Anytime you get Bobby Eaton, you can kick off the show and kind of set the tone for action. Probably in that first match, if it was better managed, they would not have used the ramp in the first match. Right. Sorry. We're going to save that. Is that who would have been, I mean, in my head, that sounds like something the agents would work out. Who would have been agents in this era? Or was that even something that was commonplace in 1990? Oh yeah. There were agents. I'm trying to think who the hell they were. Generally these guys off the booking committee, mm. you know, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, who all was there. Cause it's hard to th 30 years ago. It's hard to think who all was sure, but the guys that are on the booking committee would have been the guys that probably have been more inclined to, uh, uh, lay out the matches, be agents or producers or what. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.